everybody so today I'm here with you with some swap projects that I've completed I actually just have to finish packing two of them I wanted to share how they looked first and how I put it together um, this is for the um, what do you call it the group swap over on Tamika's channel scrap the world and she's doing a different um, group swap with some different items that I've never heard about but I did look online when she had posted this to check it out and it's pretty interesting and she's calling it an artist trading coin swap so it's still considered like an ATC if we remember the artist trading cards there's also ATC artist trading cubes and now there is the artist trading coin um, I guess it's been around like I said I never heard about them but um, she um, posted that swap and interesting so um, I've yet to be assigned a group I forgot what day she was posting it but since um, all her information and everything we need to do is already posted on the blog I went ahead and did them and um, I know we're in groups of five so we only have to make four and we're doing our own styles so I wasn't too worried about the the groups because we're doing our own style in here and mine of course is shabby chic so what we had to make um, if you want to look it up look up what was it okay look up artist trading coins and all it is is a round disc I don't know if they have to be specific sizes or not she has a size for us um, that is like a little tiny artist piece like a anything or whatever art you're into that's pretty much what it is um, and you trade them you know with others so we had to make four and of course I made one for her like I always do and they had to be individually wrapped um, they had to have at least three embellishments on them and um, using some kind of a, hard, a thick cardstock or chipboard it had to be sturdy pretty much and it had to be a three inch round coin um, package individually label them with some information that would be on the back and I think that's pretty much it so um, I completed mine and let me just kind of go through what I'm using as far as whatever I still have out. I think I have everything out because I'm using my little, um, this, this is from Recollections. I just picked this up recently and I thought I would try out putting supplies of projects that I'm currently working on. So, um, I do have things out of that too. And I don't have the package for this, but I am using for the final wrapping or packaging is these treat bags. Don't know where I got them from. They say 2014 dress my cupcake on it. Um, I'm also using some of these doilies from Cheer and Company, which I think is a Joann's brand. So I got that. It's four and a half inches. This is just, I'm adding one as a gift. And, oh, I used again... Well, no, I haven't. I barely use these things, but these are some thick foam dots. Actually, I have used this on camera. I found them at. Did I use these? Yes. Um, I found them at Tuesday morning. I used a little bit of my glitter mix to give it some sparkle. I did use some of the spray to seal it, although it's not 100% sealed, but it also adds on some glitter, so it sealed it enough for me. I threw, oh, I added in like a quarter of this on each one of them, and I think, whose ticket is this? Is this is Joanne's or Michael's, I can't remember, but they're little teeny tiny um, doilies, so I got that. I actually did some distressing with my distress tool from Tim Holtz, and I also used this dauber with some ink, I'll show you in a second some stuff I haven't done in a long time um, I used butterflies from these two packs from Dollar Tree I did use these two score tapes I don't know where I got these from I finished up an entire pack of dimensional stickers which are some roses so it's gonna be slightly different as far as what roses I used. but this is recollections this is I'm gonna throw this out now this is some spare parts from Hobby Lobby. Only got three left. I used some of those. I used um, on each one of these on the other packaging. I used some of this Recollections. 
These are laser cut doilies, very intricate. I used, um, I did not use this, I was going to, but ended up not using it. Okay, but it's in there. I used this, um, this is from the Dollar Tree, and it's really pretty trim. I used a little piece of this lace that I found somewhere. I've had that for a little while. I also used one of these on each one. This is from Hobby Lobby also. This heart. I used one of my own digital kits for the background. Um, where's the ink? I had it out. Where's my ink? Oh my gosh, I used a lot more than I thought just for these little tiny items. <laughs> so let's just sort of get some of this stuff out of the way because I used more than, than I had inside of here. Here's the ink that I used, and this is tea dye. And I also used belly slipper chalk paint and some of this glossy paste for a little bit of texture from Hobby Lobby and I think I got this at Walmart maybe and oh, the final thing is the three inch hole punch which I finally got to use so I was excited when she said it was three inches because I was like oh wait I have a three inch hole punch yes so that made it super easy to get some perfect three inch circles and I just had to punch three times out of, oh yeah, I forgot to show you, the 110 pound weight cardstock, I punched it for the background, for the middle, and the that printed paper is also out of the same stuff. Okay, so let me put this aside. It is nice to have a container, and then, you know, now that I'm done, I'm going to empty it out and get it ready for the next project. So, you know, and it's cute. So... Oh. For the word um, that I did cut out, I did use this glitter paper. And let me show you the dies and something else that I forgot to share with you. I used my new uh, We Are Memory Keepers Evolution Advanced die cutting machine. So um, I love it. And it's, it's really nice actually. So I used this Create die that I found out Tuesday morning. Um, I think it's Heidi Swap, I'm not sure. And then for my topper, I got this. I think it's Avery Yell, if that's the brand. It starts with an A. Found it online a long time ago. So this is my bag topper. And I think, oh, and then I have to find the file on my computer. Oh. But we're going to pause for a second. You won't see it. So I can find the file for the packaging. So that I um, the box I'm about to show you the file is called scalloped lace gift box and that's through the design store for silhouette cameo and it's from Lonnie Stevens the design ID is 7378 so it's called scalloped lace gift box and um, I'll show you in a second what that is okay so here's just three out of the five these are already packaged, ready to ship. One thing I'm going to be doing is I'm probably going to use like a clip. Let's just say this one and put in this, even though my information is inside on the card, I'll probably do something like this so you can get an idea. And then this will be a little extra, maybe hang a dangle on there. Um, just to have it on the outside so when you pull this out you know and you'll know who it's from this is just my business card I just didn't want to do that yet um, so there's just three out of the five I didn't finish packing the other two because I'm going to show you and here's the packaging it's holding everything inside um, and just a couple of few goodies inside not a lot just I'll show you what I added. A gold doily. There's a little coin. Um, this is a little baggie. A donut uh, tag, a pineapple tag, and a diamond shaped tag. And then a large clip. I put that in with the, the little box and then the coin. So I did use this adhesive. You'll just have to rip it open. It may come off easily. I don't know. 
in order to get in there. I think it will. Um, so I just layered the doily with this. I did fold in the corners and then folded it over one more time like so and then you'll see you'll see what I do because I'm going to do one um, I layered that word create with the glitter paper on there and then the butterfly the, the white one so that's how everything is going to be packaged for everybody so I have two left here these are how it gets cut it does have like a stitching effect I don't know if you can see it on camera because this camera doesn't focus that well um, if I set it to focus then it's going to be in and out in and out and I can't do that but here they are here's the file that I was telling you about the box it's so so cute okay and I didn't know this is how you're supposed to seal it or not but it had it comes with little holes on the top so I didn't want to you know permanently seal it so I just used that Dollar Tree ribbon but now there, were this, there is different um, flowers on all of them including on the inside because again I use one package of layered flowers from Recollections so I just cut it up and made it work but yet they still look alike. I did again some gesso or I'm going to call it gesso that texture this stuff here on it. There's that little doily, here's the layered flower sticker with one of those Hobby Lobby stickers and then a blue butterfly that you can see on the inside because I save I made a window because it cuts that out and this is like from years of packaging I cut out the, the good stuff whatever's clean um, especially when I was buying a ton of dyes so I save that in this bag here because these things poke <laughs> and that's what I used for the windows I've never done that before. I've never really made boxes like this before, but I really wanted to use my machines and my tools. So I decided, okay, I'm going to use everything. I'm going to use my punch. I'm going to use my silhouette and I'm going to use my die cutting machine. So I use all three. Um, so I feel like, okay, I'm using my stuff. So that's how it is. And to adhere these flaps to close the boxes is what I use the score tape. All right, so we're gonna open one of these because the other one's gonna get packaged. And if you're a recipient of this, if you're in my group, just pull out the um, this and you can reuse that. I did use some shred inside to hold this up because it just fell in. This is longer than three inches, but this side is actually exactly three inches. So here's your coin and there's the shred so you could use these boxes for anything and of course mine's dimensional because that's how I am I cannot do flat if you look up these coins they're all like flat I can't do that <laughs> I just can't actually Tamika's was a little dimensional too maybe not as much but so here's what it looks like and again I am shabby chic so another thing that I wanted to use, do is pull out my embellishments that I rarely use and I have these wooden teapots that are from Natasha Scrapper Corner. I painted it with the pink slipper. I added the bling heart on top of that. I um, And you see that some of this stuff still wants to come off but behind this I layered that little bit of ribbon or trim. It's a little stiff because I sprayed the whole thing with that sealer. So actually let me show you the back. Um, I printed this out first and then cut it with my circle punch. This is the information that is required on the back of this. So this is one layer of cardstock. I did ink the edges. I added a second layer which is what is back there. I added that little quarter piece of gold doily that I showed you and then on top of that the third layer which is the printed paper and you'll see a little bit of the doily with the flower. And I did cut and curl this open and then just ripped a few pieces here to give it a little more shabby look. And again, everything was inked. I haven't been inking much like I used to, so I wanted to do that again. Then here, this is just part of those stickers that I put in there. I needed something flat. This could have been a lot more dimensional. <laughs> so I layered this on top, but I did put in that foam dot inside. You can kind of see. And then here a couple of pink flowers and then the butterfly and then when I was done I added the gesso 
some of the glitter and then the spray and the whole thing is kind of sh glimmer shimmery because the spray has that glitter so really really pretty and again this shred on the bottom to sort of make this lay you know because it kind of wants to go down here so it just lays a little more in the middle so put that back inside and if you're going to you know put it back then you just run the um i'm glad i had this really thin ribbon through the back and I'm going to even this out and then you're going to fold that over and run this through now I'm going to tell you about this file real quick if you have it or if you're going to get it it comes with the words I think it comes with I love you let me look it up real quick I have it open yeah, it comes with love you, and I don't even know if the word is like one or not in the file. It would be in here. It comes with a uh, separate card that's smaller than this. And then it comes with some notches that would cut through the back, and I'll explain it to you if you want to. Okay, so there it is sealed, right? So it would actually notch out. Uh, on the sides where you would put the card I don't know if you put the card on the inside or not I think it's made maybe for gift cards I don't know and the notch would have like a little design kind of like this too so the notch kind of looks like this but you'll get one here one here and then that card that slips and then the words love you but I just removed all that I just wanted the box and that's what I came up with. So now let me go ahead and um, package at least one of these on camera. So I went through my stash, found these. This was like perfect because I have other bags, but it has gussets, but the gussets are just too wide. I didn't need so much space. Um, so I just put that in there to the bottom. And actually, I need this still. We're going to, oh, I forgot my goodies. I wanted to keep it flat. That's why I'm using these goodies. I always like to add something. So, put that there. And then I'm going to fold this in a little bit. The reason why is because I don't really like that this is hanging off you know sh longer than my toppers I kind of like them either the same or smaller than the topper so and then fold it there I'm not folding it all the way down because I want this to adhere to this so we're just going to I didn't fold it exactly in half as you can see I want a little more showing on the front this is going to be my front and this is a little difficult to stick on here for some reason but once it's down it holds I'm just going to do both sides. Let's see, it doesn't want to. There we go. But it's on. And I'm going to try to make it even here. goes on better. I'm sorry if you hear my fan closer because it is closer. I've been getting like hot flashes. I don't know. I have a doctor's appointment with the guy now and then I'm going to get some other stuff done and see what's going on. So there's that one. I'll do the other one too. So that's the fourth one and then the fifth. Put this all together. Just trying to get the string down. Okay, so just about done.
took me it didn't really take me that long. This was pretty simple. It just took me like an hour each day for about three days to get this completed. Alright, so there we go. I feel like this one's not laying right. So those are my entries for Scrap the World. I'm going to do this. I'll put this over here just to kind of get the whole picture there. Scrap the World um, swap. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys next time.